What the fuck? Hey guys, what's up? It's the Minecraft Sauce here today doing a Blender Tutorial Part 4 of the intro series. Now, I'm sorry this is so late. I guess I just forgot to make it, uh, if that makes sense. But, we've got a new project file here, and um, so this is what's really in it just right now, just some text. Green outline, white inside, a lamp, environment lighting, a plane that's slightly reflective, and so you get this result. Anyways, so I'm actually going to be teaching you how to do a lot of things in this tutorial. And that includes 2D animation. So actually, why don't we start with 2D animation? So how do you do 2D animation in Blender? Well, uh, the first thing you need to do is configure the camera properties. All right, so uh, right click the camera. And then uh, up here, there should be like where you find your world, object, modifier, physics, texture, material, that kind of header tab place. You find the camera after you've selected it, of course. And then you have lens. So you can do a bunch of things with this, but really all you want to do to make this 2D is change perspective uh, to orthographic. And then when we go into camera mode, it kind of looks it looks a bit different than perspective it's not exactly 2d yet but it is kind of like it this is actually kind of like a 2d 3d kind of thing and i i used it in one of my videos uh one of my animations and so now what we need to do is uh right click the camera select the object box and look at rotation so if you have anything like 86 automatically change it to 90 um so it should always be 90 or 0. So this is like 0.324. We want that 0. And this is 86. So let's change that to 90. And now we actually have the camera 2D. So if we render this, we may not be able to see the plane because, well, you just can't. If you want to and you have a plane, you can just go rotate and then rotate it just a bit like that so you can see it. And you can still see the reflectivity. Anyway, so that's how to go 2D. You can pretty much bring your character in here as well. Or like add cube. Let's just pretend this is uh, a grass block. Alright, so it's there. It's 2D. And it'll have the texture if you've textured it. So actually, why don't we bring in a grass block? So I'm going to go file, append, and I'm going to look for my blocks. Uh, I told you guys to download blocks when I was doing the intro before the intro tutorial and so if you go look at like the last three you'll find it maybe even in this description uh, this might take a while alright I found it so uh, I'll just click blocks here go into object and here I've got all the blocks so why not because we're going with a green color scheme uh, go with mossy cobblestone so yeah that'll work I was thinking of grass but okay so we'll just grab this render it make sure it's got the texture sure as hell does we can size this down and we can even bring it in front of the text if we want to if we go into 3d mode let's size the camera down a bit because it's a bit big apparently we can't so I'll just leave that be but yeah we have the mossy cobblestone now and we can just take this size it down which leads me to my next thing and that would be moving shit around so let's say you've already combined the outline of the text with that so let's I'm just gonna do that because I haven't done that so mesh from curve alt C pretty much and now you have the two combined uh, whoops I didn't mean to do that I selected them both when I did that okay let's try and undo that okay we did Alright, so Alt C, Alt C, alright, and then join. So you should already know how to do that. There we go, I've combined them both. So I can just move it as one whole. And so now we're going to do keyframes. So basically, if you do want to do something other else than like having your text drop from the sky, you want it to slide in, well, uh, just drag your text out of the scene if you have no keyframes right now. 
make sure you're at zero. Then select the text I location rotation scale so it takes the location, the rotation, and the scale for the keyframes. Then go to somewhere like frame 20 and drag drag it back into the scene or the camera's perspective view and then make sure you're on frame 20 and then I location rotation scale. Now it's made two keyframes and if we play through this it in fact slides in just like that and you can do the same exact thing with any other object. Alright the next thing I want to teach you about and for this we're gonna go into wireframe mode or not wireframe we're gonna go back into um, 3D mode so I'm just gonna change the camera back Whoops. and I'm actually gonna change the sensor which is pretty much the field of view right here to 70 or 60, 60 works uh, so it'll look like normal that's what you always kinda wanna do when you do an animation you change it to 60 or 70 cause when you're in video games right you see the field of view of about 60, 70 and then when you do an animation you wonder why is it so zoomed in all the time and that's usually the reason why so now we're in 3D mode I'm just gonna grab this I guess bring it in okay so that's good I'm gonna take the text and duplicate I have uh, actually not tested this yet alright and I've duplicated it now I can um, do anything I want with it the duplicate so I've got it here but I'm just gonna keep it in with the other one and I'm gonna select one of them go into the material tab and we actually got two materials here because we've combined it which is uh, pretty handy when even if you combine the meshes the materials will still be able to be changed so I'm gonna go with the green material and change that so right here where it says surface change it to wire and then when you re-render this of course it's gonna look screwed up I don't know what's going on there uh, let's just exit that we can size it up first I mean it won't be completely even but let's let's just do that and let's do the same thing with material O2 which is the white bit change it from surface to wire render it and uh, for some reason it completely erases the text I think that's a transparency issue so I'm gonna go check transparency alpha 0.7 f12 uh, still no signs of it fixing itself but um yeah this is this is basically how you can make your text into kinda like wired and uh, if you want more kind of of a wire effect you take the text and um, oh it's got keyframes on it okay you take the text and what was I gonna do oh yeah you go into edit mode so press tab make sure it's all selected and then press W and subdivide and so basically it gives it more of these kind of lines which the thing follows just make sure you don't give it too many lines because it will start to lag your computer alright so if you render this as you can see it's gonna give us way more lines and a lot of computers just be careful about this cannot actually handle this alright so the next thing we're gonna do is indirect lighting and basically we're gonna be uh, I think whoops there we go. Alright, so I've got our normal text back, I'm pretty sure. Yep, got our normal text back. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this glow. Um, so basically, you need to go into the World tab first. You need to uncheck whatever is checked up here and change the horizon color to black. Alright, just for the demonstration, you can change it to whatever color you want. But I suggest you turn it to black to get the best effect uncheck environment lighting if you have it on uh, check indirect lighting and down here where it says ray trace and approximate click approximate and change the sampling or the passes to 10 usually it would be at 0 I already had it at 10 and so now we need to make the object glow with the right as atmosphere we can now do this glow effect so click the material so we have two materials here we can either go with the green one or the white one to glow so I'm gonna try out the green one first also if you want to do this this effect you have to delete any lamps and uh, yeah so I got that down and now underneath the mat 
material tab right here up here uh, scroll down a bit and you'll run into shading and it'll say emit type in two or you can do one I'm actually gonna do one and render that and as you can see it is glowing and it's glowing a lot so if you want to turn it down just turn down emit so let's go point four and see what happens and also uh, we can even glow the white material if we want to so why don't we go ahead and do that oh and you can also make this wire so let's make the green material wire and see what happens with this glow effect it looks pretty cool in the blackness and let's go with the white material and make that go emit to and that's pretty cool I think it's a bit too much though so let's go point four I'm gonna change this back to surface and so yeah that's how you can make your text glow it's pretty cool it's a pretty cool feature the next thing I want to teach you is stars and this is actually pretty perfect so um to make stars if you want to make stars you can go into the world tab uh, and down here at the bottom it should say stars and you have a checkbox so basically click that and if we render this I'm not sure if it's gonna do that in indirect lighting mode yes it will okay that's good so I'm gonna go press 0 on my number pad to go into the key uh, camera I'm gonna right click the edge it's not letting me do that sometimes it does that blender is a little bit buggy because it's open source and I'm just gonna face the camera up to the sky so you can see all these stars now they look big and they look just white so we kinda wanna make this look somewhat like an, a universe so um, in the horizon color we can uh, change it to a dark blue right just like that and then let's go blend sky and so now we have a zenith color and we're gonna make that black so now we have kind of a black uh, that fades to blue uh, which is kinda like sometimes what's like sunset after sunset that's what happens you see a little bit of the blue sky and then it's black and the stars are still the same don't worry about this black bit this is just the plane <coughs> and so now we can tweak the settings so you have the size of the stars the minimum distance the separation from them all and the colors the colors are pretty interesting we'll get into that just a bit uh, in just a bit so let's change the size to point two let's change the distance to 15 and the separation should stay so now we have finer stars uh, which is pretty cool you can also turn up the minimum distance to 30 turn down the separation to 2 and you'll get well it's obviously way too dense so let's actually turn up twice as much the minimum minimum distance alright so it's further away let's turn up the separation to five so it's a matter of planning with, with these settings so now we have I think this looks pretty good and so now we can play with the color so let's go point five point five and point six is what I consider to be pretty necessary standard kinda universe colors where some some uh, stars have more of a tinge than another you can even do point seven and if we render that it, it looks even more colorful so that's pretty cool you combine that with our glow effect and it just looks pretty damn awesome <coughs> alright so the next thing I want to tell, tell you about is um, I was gonna tell you about bevel text which is basically where you put a bevel on the text but I'm I'm not sure if, if, if I've already taught you that but um yeah I, I actually think that's pretty much the end of the tutorial and I really hope you guys enjoyed this and learned a lot because I actually managed to put a lot into this tutorial so um hope you guys will use my tips and tricks this is the end of the series and uh, yeah so if this is your first time watching and you haven't watched the other tutorials go watch them and uh, subscribe watch my videos it helps me out like them comment share them with your friends and uh, so yeah, that's that's about it. I'm the Minecraft Sauce and see ya.